Here are three reasons why Mr. Savage is a god at Fortnite. Presented by Fortnite Master. This week's pro player analysis is on Mr. Savage, somebody that many of you have requested we look at. A little background first, if you haven't watched Mr. Savage before, get ready for your jaw to drop. He is one of the most talented players in the game, no exaggeration. Not only are his mechanical and pub stomping skills top tier, his tournament placements and winnings are just insane. Him and his duo partner, Benji Fishy, are one of only a few duos in the world that everybody in the pro scene recognizes as the top of the top. And although they were deemed too young to compete in some past tournaments, they are eligible for the World Cup and have already qualified by placing first place in the very first online duos qualifier. Now for the video. We've chosen a couple of clips that show off three of Savage's biggest strengths, from his insanely fast mechanical skills to his aggressive style and unpredictability. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. The first thing you'll notice about Mr. Savage is that he's fast really fast and he's fast at everything his decisions aiming building and editing are all at top-notch speeds to top it all off he manages to retain aimbot level precision while doing everything at these speeds this mechanical skill allows Savage to make plays that only a handful of people in the world could think of replicating. So in this clip, we can see Savage demonstrating his mechanics in this 1v4 situation. First off, most of the time, you have to mess this up really badly to place yourself in a situation like this, where you're surrounded by four enemies in all directions. Secondly, it should be stated that in most cases, this situation is unwinnable. Savage, however, has intentionally put himself in this unwinnable scenario, looking for kills. Usually, the best way to play this is to isolate as many 1v1s as possible and win each 1v1 consecutively. For most human beings, this is really difficult to do, but for someone with Savage's mechanical skill, it looks like a walk in the park. He first demonstrates how fast he is by reading a situation at the start of this fight. When the plane explodes, you see four enemies pop out. Here, Savage has to process that he's in a 1v4 situation and that the best way to win is to isolate 1v1s and avoid fighting more than one person at a time. With literally one frame to process this info, Savage instantly builds up to prevent all four from shooting him with perfect build placement. At this point, in the span of one second, Savage has built up two levels. The second most impressive part is he knows exactly where the enemies are despite all of the noise around him. The most remarkable part of this edit play he makes, he knows that his enemies are going to be in their position before they're even aware he got a shot on them, edits a floor, takes the shot, and blocks them again with his own pyramid all within one second. They probably didn't even know how he shot them because of how quickly he executed the play. In the span of maybe 5 seconds, he impresses yet again by not greeting out on the 100 pop he deals to one of the enemies. He blocks that angle instead, knowing that he's less likely to win that one too. As usual, he builds up without missing a beat, looking for the next moment he can get a free shot. At this moment, he sees someone ramping up to the side. In another split second, Savage processes that A, the enemy can't see him, and B, the enemy is an easy target for his rocket launcher, then executes the play. Let's rewind this play and play it at normal speed. That's how much time Savage had to notice the person ramping up and make this play. The third thing we're impressed by is his lightning fast intuition. Most players would follow up by trying to push the player they just shot a rocket at. Savage, however, has already deduced that he won't find the player there, because by the time he pulled out and shot his RPG, he would have seen them on the ramp. Somehow, despite having no vision and mere fractions of seconds to process this information, Savage turns 180 degrees and drops right on top of the player like he knew exactly where they were going to be. The first thing he notices about this player is that they're isolated, remembering that his best chances of winning this fight is to isolate and pick off his enemies one by one. That's why he jumps off high ground to immediately pursue this player, and quite aggressively we might add. Savage straight up W keys this drift because he knows he only has a couple of seconds before the other players get involved again. He was able to land one decent pump shot, but after almost a full heavy AR clip and no more tanks, he knows that continuing to W key would have been dangerous 
dangerous. Given a few more seconds, the other three teammates would hear the spray and easily be able to ambush him. Even though that play didn't pan out, he doesn't get flustered or waste any time moving on. He immediately jumps up a level and looks for his next chance to down one of these players. As he's reloading, he notices just barely the top of a fresh ramp that is still being built and knows one of the other players must be near it. Again, in just a span of over one second, he turns the corner and lands a quick shot, blocks them, edits, and downs the player. Here's the full speed clip so you see how fast Savage is in real time. At this point, many players would go to thirst the player they just downed, but Savage shows off his incredibly fast and accurate intuition. He knows he's still got three more players to deal with, so just split seconds after he knocked the player, he's turning around and looking for the drift that he was chasing before. His game sense is insane, as once again, he turns right towards the player even before he has vision. Once he spots them, it's game over. What's impressive is how he follows up. His mechanics and the speed at which he plays is so fast. He's able to capitalize on some super narrow windows to take shots. All the while, he's perfectly tracking the opponent, matching their movements, and making sure he keeps the advantage through pressure and positioning. Here's that last section one more time at full speed as another reminder of how fast he is. Two more remarkable things about Mr. Savage are his aggressive style and unpredictability. To set the scene a little bit, right here, Savage is playing in one of the Trimax solos versus squad tournaments, so he's got an incentive to go full aggressive. And while in serious games he may not W key this hard, he still uses his aggressive style, coupled with unpredictability, to outplay opponents. Now, normally this is not a push you would ever want to make. There are two enemies on extreme high ground that are focused on Savage, which already makes it an extremely dangerous and difficult push. Savage, however, is playing solely for kills and is looking to push anybody he sees. To do that, he knows he needs to level the playing field by forcibly taking high ground, then focusing on one player at a time once he is in close quarters. He first demonstrates his aggressive instincts with this initial decision to push up the hill. The two enemies he's facing had just finished killing another player nearby and were shifting their attention to Savage. When he notices this, his aggressive instincts kick in. He immediately stops shooting, even though he may have been able to deal more damage from long range and starts building to push up the hill. He knows that once these players shift their focus onto him, it's going to get harder to push up the hill the longer he waits. If he kept going for that long range trade, by the time he started building up, up, both players would have been waiting and prepared at the edge of the hill to spray him out. So he goes aggressive and builds up at the perfect moment, when neither enemy is prepared to hold him on low ground. This is where his unpredictable gameplay impresses us. As soon as he starts ramping up, you see him switch to metal, so his ramp is stronger and takes longer to shoot out. A smart choice when you're pushing more than one person on high ground. He starts the push unprotected because his enemies don't have line of sight, but as soon as he sees they have an angle, he begins protecting himself, but never the same way twice, hence the unpredictability. You see, first he places a pyramid and edits through, then places a pyramid and side jumps, then double ramps out to the side. Even if the enemy was tracking him the whole way up, it's likely not much would have changed, as it's hard to predict a player that doesn't do anything twice. This is a great example of how his aggressive style and unpredictable gameplay complement each other. Now that he's closed the distance, he's going to continue going aggressive on the first player, keeping the second enemy in the back of his mind the whole time. Right here, he demonstrates how he's able to keep up his aggression with smart building. He starts with a simple 180, which gives him protection, but also allows him to see through his builds and spots the other player. They are still slightly above him, so he knows they're probably going to try jumping on top and blocking him. To counter this, he places his own ramp and pyramid out in front of himself. This play might not seem like much, but it actually does a lot. It completely prevents the enemy from getting an angle to block him, allowing Savage to keep his aggressive momentum. This is where his unpredictability impresses yet again. Instead of running straight up his own ramp and editing through the pyramid, he jumps out to the side and catches himself, creating an angle on this player, who thought he had trapped Savage on his ramp. If you watch Savage, you'll start to notice a lot of these situations in which he's getting shots on players who are facing completely different directions and have no idea where he is. That's because he doesn't use the cookie cutter predictable patterns that most people stick to. He's able to adapt to every fight and find those options that enemies aren't expecting. 
At this point, finishing the kill is no problem. Savage has already predicted exactly what they're going to do, and he's waiting in the perfect position to finish them off. With one player down, he can shift his focus onto the second enemy. He takes a few shots to stop them from building up for a couple of seconds, then goes back to make sure he finished the player he just downed. When he goes back to shoot the second enemy again, he hears the distinct noise that ballers make, looks up, and sees one, flying right above him. He's in an awkward situation here. His two options are one, focus the baller, or two, ignore the baller and focus the other enemy. He knows the other enemy is far enough away that it would take some time for them to build their way over, and the structure that he's on has a lot of metal and can't be shot down quickly. He also knows that the baller only has 200 HP, and he would be able to destroy it pretty quickly, so he shifts his attention to the more immediate and manageable threat, the baller. This heat of the moment analysis and decision making is something that not many players can do given mere fractions of seconds. The way he plays out this last scenario is another shining example of Savage's aggressive yet unpredictable gameplay. At this point, Savage has decided that his best play is to destroy the baller. That way, it gets rid of it as a nuisance and forces the driver to fall down. When he destroys it, Savage immediately capitalizes with aggression. He lands a solid pump while the player is still falling, then catches them with his own floor. Now, most players would have also placed a pyramid right away, but Savage stays making these 200 IQ plays. He waits until the enemy lands on his floor, and then places his own pyramid on top, trapping the player underneath. If that's not a shining example of unpredictable gameplay, we don't know what is. At this point, this player is completely at the mercy of Savage, and and probably doesn't even know what's going on. Instead of editing the player down to finish them off, Savage makes another split second decision to go for the trap kill on this player, which is probably the smarter and safer play in this situation. He places a trap down before editing the player out, and then even once he edits them out, instantly lands a 110 pump shot, just to be 100% sure the trap is enough to finish the kill. Here's that play one more time at full speed, just so you get an idea of how fast this is all happening and how nutty Savage really is. For those wondering, the player he was shooting before swapping to the baller died to fall damage. And as a bonus, here's how Savage builds normally, in case you needed even more of a reason to be amazed. Thank you guys for watching this video. For those who are new to the channel, if you've enjoyed this video, check out some of the others on the right side of the screen. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notifications for whenever a new guide shows up. We have grown tremendously in the last few months and couldn't have done it without all of our supporters. Thank you again so much and doubly so if you shared it with anyone else like your friends, family, or your pets. You guys are great and we hope to keep making videos that you all like. From over here at Fortnite Master, my name is The Saved One and we're out. Peace.